Hi everyone, Georgia here. So today I'm going to show you five different hairstyles that I have been wearing recently. As you can probably tell, my hair has got shorter and shorter over the past few months and I really love the length that it's at the moment. I, I wouldn't go any shorter than this. I definitely enjoy having short hair so much more just for the fact that it's so much easier but also I feel like I can um, do a lot more hairstyles with the hair that I have now. So I'm going to go ahead and show you five different hairstyles that I've been wearing recently um, that are really easy, quick and simple to recreate. So let's go and get started. So the first hairstyle is just this one. It's just straight hair, it's very, very simple. So I like to put my hair into a middle part in. And I just literally take the straighteners all the way around my hair. Sometimes I like to tie the top half up first and then I will begin straightening the bottom half. And just to make sure the whole head of hair is really nice and straight. For anyone wondering, at the hairdressers I just ask for um, a blunt cut and I ask for the same length all the way around so I don't ask for any layers. So yeah, this one's super quick and simple. I usually like to tuck one side behind my ear or if not I just tuck both behind my ear because I don't really like it right in front of my face. But this is the first hairstyle, super, super easy. The next hairstyle is a cute little one for every day. It's also a nice little one if you're doing like a workout or you're going to the gym or something. So I literally just split my hair right down the back into a middle parting. I then just start to tie the hair into pigtails with these small elastic hair bands and I just don't pull it all the way through so it just looks like a little bun. You can then just start to pull bits out if you want to but I just think it's like a really cute 90s look. I really like it. Um, and then sometimes I just like to add a cap over the top. And there you go. Really, really cute and simple. Takes like 10 seconds and then you can like change it up with, with whatever like baseball cap you want to wear. So that is hairstyle number two. For the third hairstyle, I'm just going to take this side down and I'm going to leave that side um, tied up because, again, we want the split parting at the back. So this is going to be basically a reverse French braid kind of going into pigtails. I'm going to grab the top section of hair up here and this is basically just a French braid but it's a reverse French braid. So instead of taking the hair over the top and grabbing from each side, you're going to take the hair underneath each layer and then still take from each side. There's tons of tutorials on um, YouTube on how to do a rever reverse French braid. I'm not really going to go into any detail. I'm just going to show you what the hairstyle looks like. Once you get to the bottom of the French braid, you're then just going to take your hairband. You're going to cut it off as if it's a pigtail. So once you've tied off both sides, again, you can just pull some little wispy bits down if you want. I like to bring these front bits down. And then this is hairstyle number three. It's a really, really simple one. And it's also a really nice hairstyle if you just want to keep the hair off of your face. So moving on to the next hairstyle. This is my go-to hairstyle. I wear this one the most out of any just because I'm super lazy. And it's good for every day because I like to get this front part of my hair off my face. So it's the half up, half down kind of messy bun. So I just part off the top part of my hair. So I literally just start to tie it up as if I'm about to put it into a ponytail, but instead of pulling it all the way through, you tuck it halfway, which then creates like this weird looking bung, but somehow it works. You can also twist the hair and put it round into a bun as if you were doing like a ballerina bun, but lately this is just the way I've been doing it. But it's a really easy way just to get um, the hair off of your face. So that is hairstyle number four. Let's move on to the last hairstyle. This is the one I usually do if I know I'm going out of an evening or if I just want like a, a nicer look in the daytime. So this involves curling the hair. It's very quick and simple, just like the rest. So first of all, I part my hair into two sections. I take the top hair section of my hair up because we're going to start curling the bottom half first. So I just use a curling wand to do this. You have to be very careful because, because the hair is so short, it's very easy to burn your hands. I've done it a good few times now. I'm curling the hair backwards. Once I've finished cutting, I literally just take like a tangle teaser style brush and I'm going to just start to brush through the curls just because I don't want it to look like awkward or stiff or I just want it to look relaxed um, with a slight wave so I feel like this works best for that. Get my fingers really underneath the hair and kind of zhuzh it through a bit. You can just start to play around with it however you like. Um, definitely recommend like adding hairspray or a styling gel just so it holds but yeah it's really really simple. So I like to wear this in a middle parting sometimes but I also like to wear this hairstyle in a side parting. 
And then you can just start to curl pieces again that you think might need a little bit more curl to them. And so this is the last hairstyle. I really hope this video was helpful for you guys. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you want to see what I'm up to, you can follow me on Instagram at The Vintage Vision. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Before you guys go, I wanted to tell you all about a little thing called Shopback, which I've been absolutely loving here in Singapore. It's basically a cashback website that allows you to earn up to 30% cashback when you shop online. So you can shop with merchants including ASOS, Zalora, Expedia, Sephora. Sephora is especially if you're a makeup and hair enthusiast just like me. You can basically earn back money for shopping online. And Shopback also provides you with all the latest promo and discount codes. So you don't have to go rummaging the internet for them. Shopback has them all laid out for you already. I've literally saved almost $300 from using Shopback so far, just from general online shopping, which has been amazing. So I 100% recommend that you guys go and check it out. I have a unique sign up page for you all where you can go sign up to Shopback for free and you'll also get a $10 bonus into your Shopback account. Money is then redeemable via bank transfer or PayPal, so it's actual real money. I'll leave my sign up page for you down below so you can go sign up and I will see you next time. Bye guys.